All right, so the next thing is I uh, just want to talk about package main and func main and control flow. And uh, so we come here, and we're in the Golang training code. And uh, we have, first of all, just hello world. And this is something we saw yesterday. And so hello world is in a folder, hello world, OK? And it's got main.go. And inside main.go is package main and func main. So there's a whole lot of main going on there. So what do we need and what don't we need and what has to be called what by edict? It absolutely has to be called this and what could be called whatever we want it to be. And um, so there's a couple of things here that you should just know about programs and building executables. And first thing is control flow. And so control flow is how does the computer read your code? And so the first thing the computer does is it looks for package main, okay? So package main could be in any file name. I could call this hello with many zeros, and then I could go and I could run that. And that runs. And go run is the command you use to run uh, go executable. And so that's a go command. Okay? And so my file name could be called anything. Hello, go. I cannot call this hell. Right? If I do that same thing now, it's going to say cannot run non main package. You need a main package. So this has to be main. Right? I cannot call this one hell or Mahelion, right? That will not run, okay? It's like, where is main? It's not defined. This is from package main. I'm looking for the function main, and it's not defined. So I can't do that. I need package main. I need func main. These are required for any Go program. That's the entry point in package main. I am looking for func main. And then inside func main, I start reading from the top and go down, right? Sequentially from the top of func main to the end. When I reach the end of func main, my program exits were done. So that's control flow. And it goes in sequence. And then inside the sequence, we could have conditional logic, right? And we could also have iterative logic, so it loops. And so that's also control flow sequence. Uh, loop conditional and so the main takeaways is you need package main you need func main there is also you will see a func init and func init is something that initializes your program means it gets it ready to run so func init is where you can put code that only needs to be done in the setup of your program we might see this when we look, or when you get into web programming with Go, you'll see func init being used. Absolutely. Right? Because you just want to parse your templates one time when your server's starting up, your program's starting up, you have func init. And so func init runs before func main. Right? This will run first. Right? This will run first, came out first. And then hello world. So that's what func init does. So those are two, like, I don't know what they're called, keywords. Maybe let's go look. And go lang spec, just to be precise about the language that we use. And we're going to look for keywords. And there are the keywords. And we have ba -ba -da -ba. func is a keyword. Main's not a keyword, so it's not a keyword. I'm just kind of curious, like init. Where is init? We have an init up here. Let's do func init. Uh, named init. And functions named init declared in package block with no multiple functions. I don't know what. Uh, the init identifier is not declared, and thus init functions cannot be referred to from anywhere in a program. Package with no imports. So that's kind of interesting. I was just wondering what it's called, just kind of a tangent. 
Funk main. A complete program is created by linking a single unimported package called the main package. So you need the main package with all the packages it, it imports. The main package must have package name main and declare a function main that takes no arguments and returns no values. Program execution begins by initializing the main package and then invoke, invoking the function main. When that function, uh, function of invocation returns, the program exits. It does not wait for other non-main Go routines to complete. Oh, interesting. All right, so that's, that's func main, that's package main, that's func init, and what it does, init is for initialize and just the setup of your program. And, uh, and, and you got to have a func main. You got to have a, you have to have a package main. You have to have a func main. A func init can or cannot be included, depending upon whether or not you want set up uh, things before the program runs. This could be called anything. This could be called anything. Any questions about that? Cool. So we'll stop.